Hi everybody! Today is a humongous video day. I'm so excited. I am really excited. So why not make videos, right? And share the excitement with you. This video is dedicated to Charmaine. She's a friend of mine on Facebook and she wanted to know how to make her own laundry detergent. It's really awesome. It's really exciting. And I'm going to show you the ingredients and I'm going to tell you about the process because I just made some. I should have used my flip cam when I was doing it, but I didn't. But you'll know how to do it after this. There are also plenty of other videos on YouTube that you could check out after watching this to make sure everything's right. You need th well, you need four ingredients. Four ingredients. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm missing an ingredient. I'm keeping the uh, dogs out of the video and keeping you in my really neat part of the house. You can go in, Charlie. Go ahead. I forgot to bring the other ingredients. Let me put them down. Okay. What you're going to need is one bar of Kirk's Castile soap. You see it? I have it unwrapped so that it cures and gets harder. And the more it's cured, the longer it lasts. But what you're going to do with this is you're going to get a cutting board and a knife and you're going to cut it. Or you could grate it. That takes a lot of time. It's a little bit of pain in the butt. And I've even seen people throw this stuff in the blender. I just cut it up. You're going to put it into a pot with water. You're going to put about four cups of water into the pot. And you're going to boil the crumbled soap in the water and you're going to do that until it all melts. Addison wants to join the video. Come on in, lady. Now, while you're doing that, you're going to gather up the borax. That's your other ingredient. And you're going to gather up your Super Arm & Hammer washing soda. Both of these products you can buy at Publix. Um, you can buy them online. Uh, what's ever more convenient for you if you do most of your shopping online go ahead and get it that way um, it's really pretty awesome don't make the mistake I made I made um, a few months ago I made dry powder which turned out very good did the laundry very good just didn't last as long as I thought it would and I wanted to have liquid I like liquid so you go ahead and get these and you have your two cup or you can have two one cuppers it doesn't matter one cup of each and when the water's all boiling up, it's, and you can see, and you're mixing it, and you can see that all the soap is melted away. You get yourself. This is heavy because it's got stuff in it. A five gallon bucket. And then you're going to take your bucket, and you're going to go into the tub, where it's probably going to be a lot easier to do this. And you're going to fill half the bucket up with hot water. And then you're going to take your one, your two cups, the one cup of the borax and one cup of the super washing powder, and you're going to put it in the hot water. And then you're going to take your pot of melted soap, and you're going to pour it right in the bucket. And you're going to mix it up, and you're going to mix it up, and you're going to mix it up, and you're going to mix it up. And then when you're done mixing it up and it looks really good mixed. Then you're going to fill the rest of the bucket up with water. And then you're going to put a top on it. And if you don't have a top for your bucket, because sometimes you don't get the top of the bucket, um, go ahead and wrap it with um, cellophane, maybe a big um, rubber band or whatever. Something that's going to keep stuff from going in it while you're letting it coagulate. Now what I did is I left it overnight. Um, I guess 24 hours is a really good time frame, 20 hours, 15 hours. The actual making of the soap is nothing. The, the time to water the, the, to, for the water to boil. Very quick, a lot faster than what anybody would think. The only thing you want to keep in mind is you want to make the laundry detergent before you need the laundry detergent because if today's your day off, 
or today's the day you set aside to do laundry and you're only making the detergent today, you're not going to have it ready in time. So what happens is it gets all jelly and coagulated and then you're going to go and stir it again. When I opened this bucket up this morning, it just had a couple of big clumps on the top and they were soft clumps. They weren't like crazy clumps, but um, then you take it and you mix it again and you mix it again and you mix it again. And then you get something that I'm hoping you'll be able to see this. Let me see. You'll get the consistency of like this. I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring, I don't know if I can bring the camera all the way over there. Ah! Anyway, you're going to have a big bucket like this. And then what you're going to want to do, and this is what's going to make it real, it smells good just with those ingredients. It smells very clean and fresh. Though, you know, if that's enough for you, then great. I am a lover of flavor, and especially if you're just coming off of commercial brands where there's a lot of good smells, you're going to want to add some flavor, and you're going to want to add it naturally and something that's good for you. Um, I added to this particular one eucalyptus. I added 10 drops of eucalyptus oil to that whole bucket. Holy moly, does it smell good. It's the mosquito season. You might want to consider doing this. Lemongrass, eucalyptus, and melaleuca oil in the bucket will kind of create your clothes as a natural bug repellent. I make my own bug repellent with those, those three ingredients and I mix it with olive oil. And I put it in a spray bottle and I spray it on myself. It's a little heavy in the summer so that's a kind of nice idea to add it to your laundry detergent and give you a natural bug repellent. Um, grapefruit. Oh, did you know that when men smell grapefruit, that scent on a woman, their mind automatically thinks they're about 15 years younger? Somebody figured that out and I read about it somewhere. Um, this is another great smell, peppermint. What a wonderful smell. Oh my gosh. Talk about smelling like good teeth. Mm -hmm. so anything that you like as far as scent is concerned, um, whether you want to have an uplifting scent or, you know, you figure it out. Lavender is very calming. It makes everybody very happy. And that's a very good scent. It's a very common scent, though. You might want to step out the box. I have a feeling, Charmaine, that when you go to add your scent, you're going to add something that's not going to be like everybody else's. So those are just ideas that I have. I just happen to have around the house. But you go to your health food store and you get real, pure, essential oil. And you use that because you won't need a lot and um, it's good for you. It's actually good for you. Beware of really stimulating scents if you, you know, maybe you want to make some, maybe you don't want to add any to the whole batch and maybe you want to have separate batches for different clothes. Like maybe you want to use lavender in what you wash your sheets in. Maybe you want, you know what I'm saying? So that you can create these moods because what you do when you're done, when you have this giant bucket of all this stuff in it, you take Oh, I gotta go back outside into the place. You take one of these, an old laundry container, and you fill it up. And maybe you're gonna take one and you're gonna say, ah, one of these are gonna be for sheets and towels only because it's gonna have lavender in it. And the ones for my clothes are gonna have grapefruit in it or whatever flavor you like. Just mark it so you know. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. Or you could just make the entire thing one smell like I did with mine. I used eucalyptus. What you do with that is you just take it, and what I used to pour it into my container was this, and I just held the container over this and poured it straight into the bottle. And um, you don't need a lot. This is a concentrated, very concentrated um, laundry detergent. So when you fill it up and you get your... Uh, you get into something like this and you have a little lid with a pre-measuring cup, all you're going to need is the, the high power formula, you know, the HE level. And that's all you're going to need in your wash. It works really great. I'm really excited about it. And I'm going to attach with this video the video of the dry soap that I have, because that works well too if you like powder. It's great. Um, I just like liquid and I wanted to try it and I want to see how long it's going to last because everyone claims that that's going to last a year. We'll see. I only have I only have three adults in my house so it's not like we got babies where we got to change the clothes every 10 seconds and the laundry soap that I made that was supposed to last me a year lasted me about four months. So we'll see. You never know. 
but it's way cheaper. Pennies on the dollar. Um, let me see. Like two bucks for this box, and it's nowhere. I mean, you're going to have enough to make enough for the whole year. This was two bucks, and um, the soap, the the, the Castile soap is only a dollar, and uh, your most expense would be your eucalyptus oil or whatever oil you like. Your essential oil is going to be expensive. This bottle right here is about a nine dollar bottle, but I put, I wish you could see, maybe you can. See how it's still full? I put ten drops. I think I got enough to make eucalyptus soap for a long time. So anyway, I hope you're excited about making your own soap. You're going to save yourself a lot of money. You can spend your money on the things you want to spend your on. And you won't have to worry about paying for all this other bullshit that comes along with it. Excuse my cursing. And you'll be able to reuse those containers that all the other crap came in. And you're going to be happy about it. And it's going to be good for your family. You're going to see that people aren't going to be allergic to it. Um, the more natural you can get about stuff, the better everything is, you know. And I like to spend my money on fun things, not laundry detergent. I like to have fun. And plus, i got to save up all my money anyway, because I'm going to go move to Texas and have this big giant homestead. So, that's the story. Thank you very much for watching my video about making soap. And um, maybe next time when I'm actually making the soap, I'll have it videotaped so you can see the whole action. But it's literally as easy as I just described. So, you have a beautiful day. And thank you, Char Charmaine, for reminding me to do this. And you have a beautiful day. Bye!